In this tutorial we will cover how to easily integrate the Universal Character Customization System with ALS. ALS, or Advanced Locomotion System, is one of the most impressive locomotion solutions made for Unreal and it can be downloaded for free in the marketplace link below. Although this is made specifically for the Advanced Locomotion System, you can use this technique to adapt UCS to any UE4 character based project. As you can see from the video, the character animations have been um, perfectly retargeted using UE5's iKey retargeting system. So let's begin with the integration. So first of all, we have to download the advanced locomotion system and then create a new project and make sure to use the UE5 version. After we do so, we're going to right-click on the Advanced Locomotion V4 folder, click on Migrate, and move this to our UCS project. So let's make sure to click on Content here, and click on Migrate. Okay, let's go back to our project. Now the first thing that we have to do is we have to open on the ALS project, we're going to search for the character blueprint. This one that says base character blueprint. And we're going to do some very small fixes here. So you will see that we have two issues. We have this um, ragdoll action doesn't exist because there is no ragdoll on, on UCS. So let's just for the moment um, add an event that we're going to call the ragdoll action when pressing X and delete this. And then you will find an issue here with the move forward backwards input. So um, let's search for the move forwards backwards and just replace it. And let's do the same for this one, which um, you will see that the, the axis is missing. So that's very simple. And let's do the same for this one. Hit compile, save. Now we're going to the Universal Character System folder and we're going to search for the UE4 third person character here. And what we're going to do is go to the class settings here and on the character, on the parent class, we're going to select the ALS character instead of the character. Make sure to select the base character blueprint here. Now we're going to hit on compile and we're going to hit save. Now we have to do another small modification here on the mesh here. Instead of proxy, we're going to select the Aneman, which is containing ALS. On the animation blueprint, we're going to select the ALS Anim blueprint. Compile and save. Now we're going to select the UE5 mesh base and the UCS meshes, so both these, these skeletal meshes. And we're going to search for the tick option here and we're going to the tick group which say, says pre-physics we're going to change that to post update work and this is very important to make sure that ragdoll works properly now we have to go back to the the animan um, character blueprint i'm going to open both of them here so because we will have to copy some variables so in the mantle system you will see that we have on the mantle animations we have like um, six um, structures here and we're going to copy them one by one and we have to do the same for the rolling animations and for the get up animations here Okay, now we're going to hit compile, save, make sure that everything looks good. All these structures should have uh, montages in them. Everything seems to be working fine. Now we're going to copy two um, functions, three actually. 
So on the functions um, section here on override, let's search for the mantle. And on the option get mantle ac uh, asset, let's click here. And now we're going to just copy the function that we have on ALS the animan. So let's just copy this here. Make sure that this is well connected. Compile and save. Let's do the same for the ragdoll. Uh, these are called get app. And let's do the same. Compile and save. And now we're going to do the same for the rolling animations. And now we should be good to go. So let's go back to the ALS uh, map here. And we're going to add the character that we have just created. So let's search for it. It's this one here. Let's just delete the other one. And let's make sure that the auto possess spawn here, um, player, this is player zero. And let's uh, make sure to select the preset. So on the UCS component, we are going to use this preset, but you can change it. So let's hit play again. And you can see that everything is working perfectly. The animations all work. Um, I can crouch and walk. Um, I can also run. Jump is working properly. The mantle system is also working. And we're also using um, ALS IK, you can see because of how the, the feet are, are placed on the ground. And if I hit X, I'm going to start the ragdoll system. Hit X again, it gets up. The turn in place animations are also working. So this is how you can integrate ALS with the UCS um, project and you can also use this technique for any other UE4 based project.